When you've had enough, the narcissist does this. You did everything you could to please the narcissist. You did everything you could to make them happy. But nothing was ever good enough for them. They never appreciated anything you did for them. Or there was always something wrong with it. They always wanted you to do more. They always wanted you to fix something else. They made you feel like it was your duty to help them. You became their caretaker. You became their therapist. Your life revolved around taking care of them. And it made you very tired. It drove you into the ground. Because no matter what you did for them, it was never enough. They pushed you to the limit until you got to the point when you couldn't do it anymore. You had enough. But just because you've had enough, that doesn't mean that it's going to stop. The narcissist has no limits for what they demand or expect from you. Because it's all about them. They lack empathy. So they cannot share your experience. They don't care about what you're going through. They don't care about how their behavior is affecting you. All they care about is what they want. And they have these insatiable desires. Desires that can never be fulfilled. Even if you manage to meet the impossible expectations, the goalposts would move. They would want more. Or they would want something else. You will never get that feeling of satisfaction with the narcissist when you feel like you have accomplished something. They never want you to feel that way. Because then that would mean that you could jump off the hamster wheel. Then that would mean that you could stop. And they don't want you to stop. They want you to keep fulfilling their needs until the day they die. Or until they no longer have any use for you. So when you've had enough of the narcissist, they're not going to understand. They're not going to give you a break. They're just going to push even harder. They're going to run you into the ground. As long as you are physically capable of fulfilling their demands, they will continue to pressure you. They will intimidate you. They will put you in a state of fear. 
so that you feel like giving up is not even an option. If you get to the point where you're no longer physically capable to carry out their demands, they will blame you for that or they will blame someone else. But they're never going to look at what they're doing and think that could be the problem because they don't even care. They already know that what they're doing is wrong. But their only concern is what they can extract from you. If you have a luxury car, you will understand that it needs to be maintained. It needs to be taken care of. It needs to be cleaned at least once a week. It needs fuel. It needs to be serviced so that it can be kept in good condition so that it can serve you. But narcissists do not understand this concept. They don't understand that by giving you what you need, it would then put you in a better position to serve them. Because they lack empathy. They cannot share your experience. They're only concerned with their own feelings and needs. And they have nothing to give anyway. The most beneficial thing a narcissist can give to you is space. But even then they're not really giving you anything. But it is their absence which will help you to recover. The narcissist just wants to milk as much out of you as they can. You become their workhorse. Because they're very entitled. And they see you as their subordinate. They think that you're just supposed to do what they say. But they can also be very manipulative. When you first met them, they love bombed you. They gave you this illusion of value. As though they had something to share with you. They use future faking. They make you think that what you're doing for them is in your best interest. And they're very arrogant. They show an exaggerated sense of their own abilities and importance. Because that makes you think that they deserve everything you're doing for them. But they also never give you the compliments and praise that you deserve for your hard work. Because they don't want you to think that you're better than them. Because then you would look at them and realise that they're not doing anything for you. And then you would wonder what you're even doing around them. Because they're not bringing anything to the table. If you look back, you will see that they never did anything that benefited you. It was all about them. And when you've had enough, it's still all about them. That's when you will see how selfish they really are. Because even when they can see that you're sick and tired, they're not going to stop. They will force you into submission. They will make threats against you. They will put you in a state of fear. They will start a smear campaign against you.
They will tell everyone that you abandoned them without help or support. Because all they care about is what they want. They don't care about how it's affecting you. Which is how they were able to manipulate you. They kept you under a spell. Where you were doing everything to please them. While you never received anything in return to replenish yourself. And they used all of these tricks to keep you serving them. To stop you from seeing what it was doing to you. You might not even see the effects that this has had on you until you finally leave them. Because you've been under their spell for so long. You've been taught to neglect yourself and to focus on them. But when you leave and you're able to focus on yourself again, you may find that you're not the same person you used to be. You will realize just how sick and tired you've become. You may experience a lot of anxiety and stress because this is the beginning of the healing process from narcissistic abuse. It will take time for you to get better. The narcissist will do everything they can to stop you from slipping away. But if you manage to escape and you stay away for good, you will start to see the light at the end of the tunnel. You will start to see the sunlight emerging from behind the clouds. Because they were keeping you down the entire time you were with them. They were preventing you from elevating. It's only when you leave that you can then find your true power because your power comes from within. But while you were with the narcissist, you were forced to hand your power over, over to them, which they then used to control you. But now you can use that power to heal. If there is one good thing that comes out of this, it's that it can help you to find your true power. It can help you to realize that it exists inside of you. And nothing repels a narcissist away more than that. If there's one thing a narcissist cannot stand, it's a person who knows their worth. A person who knows what they are capable of. A person who knows what they deserve. So be that person. And you will never have a problem with narcissists again. Because they're looking for someone who will doubt their worth. Someone who doesn't realize just how great they are. So that they can keep you chasing after their validation. So validate yourself. Realize your worth. Realize that your power comes from within. And live the life that you deserve.
Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at Narc Survivor to Kuru UK. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.